Hello YouTube, so it's been a week since I put these killifish uh, eggs into water and the killifish have greatly improved their size from being half the size of a white cloud fry like a newly hatched one which is really small to about uh, a five day old uh, guppy which is a lot better and they're accepting more uh, well they could accept more food now because they have a larger mouth uh, the reason I have a light right now on, I don't keep this on uh, constant I just keep it for about like 30 minutes while they're eating so they can see their food. Uh, I feed them about three or four times a day so they um, grow faster and they're really hungry fish and um, I've been basing the amount to feed them is uh, under their stomach um, when they're full they're, uh, they have like an orange st stomach and if they're uh, hungry they have a clear stomach so so you know when to start feeding them and it's really important to feed them every day these guys really want food um, I can see an orange one right up there yeah you can see that orange stomach there's two of them over there yeah you can see the brine shrimp up there they're just looking around and I have a uh, a lot of them in here hopefully uh, I'll have a few males and females to start breeding and probably even selling and the temperature in here is it's like about uh, 76, 78 so I'm really happy about this um, and I uh, would like to mention that I do water changes every day like around to here to here and uh, the reason for that is because uh, I don't rinse the brine shrimp because you just can't rinse baby brine shrimp because they're just so small um, with uh, even with the brine shrimp mine just won't they'll just go through it because they're just so small and uh, during the night and day when there's no light on I put this lid on just in case my scarlet bat, bat is interested in eating them I don't know where he went but he, he's been looking very uh, hungry with his, his big eyes it's his big hungry eyes he's just staring at them through the glass trying to eat them so I don't want no accidents happening which I'm trying to get into the tank and eating all my fry uh, so and uh, I packaged the peat. It was really simple to do. Let me open this for you to see. I didn't put it in the bag anymore where they were originally because that would be just really hard to put this much peat in there. But I put them in here. And the hatch date's supposed to be, uh, you can't really see with this because it's uh, red ink. But they're gonna, gonna put this back in the water on May 7th. You can't really see that, but it's a really simple process putting them. You just squeeze out, uh, basically like how Pure uh, Pure for Kicks did it. I didn't really want to copy his ideas or something, so uh, just watch this video for that. But those are coming in. I hope these are going to be pretty. They're going to grow a bit more next week, so I'll show you my next update. Sorry for that zoom. They're really nice. So tell me what you think in the comment section below. Thanks.